On behalf of me and my family, I saw this seed. I saw this seed. I, this seed. I invest this money. I don't, I don't know. For multiples of money that will come back to you and your family. That will come back to me and my family. If you want to come, if you want to come, amen. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Today I am at the things farm. Um, so excited because this is going to be an interesting video for investment opportunity in 20. 22 and beyond agric is the new oil right we already know that agric is the new oil and so agric investment is one of the things that i am personally going to invest in or i have started investing in and i'm going to be telling you guys all of that in this video but i came to see what i invested my money in i have a few bags of corn and a few bags of beans like 20 bags of beans and like 13 or i don't know how to, i don't know exactly how many bags but we'll get the numbers correctly later my name is maria habila and i'm a northern nigerian lifestyle vlogger i make videos about northern nigerian lifestyle relationship kaya mata and i sell kaya mata and today i'm showing you guys what i invested my money in in 2021 to 2022 that's this january and last year so let's get right into it so the beans market is located in nasarawa state along abuja kefi expressway and it is just between Bingham University, just beside Bingham University, you have to cross the road. I and my mom got sent to markets early this morning just so that I could make this video for you guys. It is a very popular market and it has gotten a lot of investors in the recent past. My mom, for instance, has been in the business for a little over five years and she has I would say mastered the business <laughs> so she brought me to the market because i decided to invest last year and i started my investment with corn so here are the storage this is the entrance of the market it looks porous but we'll talk about the security later so this market looks like ah who is here why is this is bags these are bags of beans and it's just left there so we, were, we headed out i and my mom to um see somebody one of her contacts people there and he took her to where she stored her chaff so apparently it's not only grains that they store here they store animal feed too like um the peel of beans um they call it koa in hausa yeah so she bought some and she went to check them out so this is what the markets look like now we were trying to sort out our own beans in this market at this point so this is who are trying to sort it out for us like keep our own separately from other people now all these beans that you're seeing or bags of beans and corns they are seeing everywhere have their owners okay and it doesn't get missing what they do is they mark it with markers different markers and their names written on it and the security of this market is unbelievably unbelievably very tight now here it is these guys this is their job there are people who do the lifting and the picking which you would get to a little later um one person can carry one bag of corn this is like almost the 100 kg or above literally one person yeah, it's amazing how they do it one pe i will just die on the ground <laughs> so watching them was really amazing i decided to show you guys one and now 50 hello 100 150 200 50 okay um 250 300 000. how many bags 
Four bags of what? Look at them. Four bags of beans. Only a kg of four bags of beans. Why this? Look, four bags of beans. Three hundred thousand. But I didn't talk about it. Even small, small bag now. Tens, tens, tens. Four hundred thousand for four bags of beans. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred thousand for four bags of beans. But that's more small one now. How yeah. much is a bag? Shoot, that's fifty thousand. Seven five thousand. You see this one? You see this one that you are seeing? Just like me. Ask your mother. No, so that's If you have money, when the time is, just three hundred thousand for four bags of beans. But this is good business. Good business, good investment. It's not like you money in the bank. <laughs> So, this agri storage business is a kind of business that you do by buying foodstuffs, agri products, grains, especially when they are just being harvested and brought into the market to be sold. So, you buy them when they're just newly harvested and then you store them up. They are owners of all the storage bands everywhere. So, you just buy bags of beans or corn or millet or whatever it is that you want and then you give it to a storage a storekeeper and he will keep it for you at an amount and then you pay him for the storage like for his space and then when it's time to sell especially when the product is scarce you resell there are different types of bags of beans so this particular one i'm talking about is a hundred kg bag of beans. On behalf of me and my family, I donate this. Okay. <laughs> I invest. <laughs> okay. On behalf of me and my family, I saw this seed. I saw this seed. I invest this money. I don't, I don't know. For multiples of money. That will come back to you and your family. That will come back to me and my family. If you <laughs> Another important factor you need to understand in this kind of business is you need trustworthy people, people who know the business. If not, you're going to buy a different breed of corn or grain that is not good. So there are different types of corn, as you know, or different breeds of corn and beans and some of them have higher value compared to others so you need people who are aware who know the best kinds of beans to buy the best storage options there are some that you have to put inside nylon before they sew it up just like this while there are others that they just keep and then nothing happens to them now we're going to another part of the uh, market this man is going to show us storage, like our store, the store that we kept some of our products. So this is his store and he's taking us there to see how they stored things, right? Other thing is you need people who you can count on because you can just go drop off your things and before you know it, they will sell it out and you don't know how manage and you cannot trace your money and all of that now this business has its own ups and downs so there are times when you would maybe you don't buy early and then you now sell when it's not time or when the price has fallen that is why you need people who are well aware of the business people who know of the business very well another thing that can happen to your product is weevils and pest infestation now i'm going to show you guys a different way of packaging the beans just like um you saw them packaging the corn now unlike the corn beans is a very um sensitive product and we'll get back to it a little later 
but here is a storage where we kept our own this place houses plenty plenty of greens yes we have come to keep the place safe from pests and animals Approximately, come on, who know? How many bags? Is it almost one eight? One thousand eight hundred bags. One thousand eight hundred bags. People are sorry, no. We have like eight shops, eight stores. Seven. Seven. Okay, mommy. They used to sit here. Yes, they used to keep this place. And I feel it in anything. One look at China B and I. Okay, okay, I have a hand. And I said, Judge of Maguna. Am I an Anna? I want to go. I step, step, go. I'm almost a career. Me, you should feel me. Give me some. How much are you going to pay me, Maria? Pay you for what, mommy? Oh, yeah, well, my hand. What happened to your hand? It's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Are you sure? Yes. So, but you better think you know how Officially in the store, it's 1,800 bags. So, this is a good kind of beans. This is called honey beans. And this is the process of storing honey beans. So when the beans is brought into the market, maybe you buy like 20 bags, 50 bags, 500 bags. You now bring it, you get, employ those workers, those ones that you saw carrying bags of corn on their heads. Mm -hmm. You employ them and then you give them the job of rebagging and um, storing it for you. So these beans now you see has lylons in it. It has it's been um sealed up with lylons and then they will now put in medicine in it for preservation. Just so that weevils do not get into it. You know how beans is now. You just keep beans, give it five minutes, you start seeing some hungry looking insects inside, chopping the beans. So this would help in the preservation of beans and these beans can go can last as long as a year without one infestation so this is a kind of beans and this is what it looks like i was thinking oh maybe the beans would look very clean like plucked picked and all that and my mom told me am i joking this is what came into the market this is what normal beans looks like in the market most of my life we have never really um, been the type to buy this kinds of beans so seeing this dirty beans is strange to me we have clean beans most times we used to farm it we cultivate it so i mean there's a neater way of processing it and all of that now <laughs> let me tell you something another thing can happen eh, when you store it and then the storekeeper is careless either rats or insects can penetrate and when they do they would have to come and do this process again and sometimes you now have to buy good a better kind of beans that has not been infested and then they will mix it up and bag it and all those chua chua that people do no matter what you do by the time your beans is being infected you are not going to sell it with good market value or all of that so you need to actually open your eye that's why this business as much as the gain can be oh i catch you what tree you just need to be careful so these are like all the storage places <laughs> see even even this they, they store up these things for their animals see all these are storage places. Oh Lord, if I fall down, let me see. Everybody, they're just packaging, repackaging, and all of it. Whoa, market is so big. And this is not like up to half of the place. So. 
Wani ne wake da wannan? Wake yan shi. Ne suna wake na? Wannan fa. Honey beans. Wannan fa. Wannan butter. Butter beans. Ko wanta fa? Se wa na fadi. No, ni wa na na so ya. This sixty bags is a fancy. This person has sixty bags. This is money. This is money. And sometimes these bags can be sold for us. Maybe bought like we we bought our own for. Eight thousand per bag and selling it now current market rate today if i wanted to sell my corn today i'll sell it for twenty eight thousand naira. that's like how much more times my money that's plenty so this person has 300 bags plus 130 bags is now equals to 430 bags of corn so guys i am about to leave the market right now um this is going to be the end of this video because assistants i'm tired and um, all of us we are fasting in my house i cannot afford to fall down in this market <laughs> and i have to go and cook lunch so i'm going my mom has to go to the office too so we have to go back home for now this is all the information i can get i'm going to do a proper sit down and maybe voiceover too to add in some input but this is where the video is going to end i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video